certainly uh, looking forward to playing the game, but not until we have uh, a couple of days here of finishing up preparation. And I like the way the guys have come back from the bye week, and, and uh, obviously it's a, another great opportunity for us. So uh, looking forward to seeing them play. It's uh, anytime I think you got your last home game and, and seniors and senior day. It's a it's a big deal for them, their families. Um, you know, I know our guys appreciate all the support they've gotten from the fans and, and pretty interesting. Everyone's journey is different, but how this group, you know, the games they've won, championships and uh, kind of what they've done and, and gone through, you know, had three different head coaches. But I think it's, uh, I think their experience have made them a pretty close group. So I feel fortunate to have been around them and part of their, their senior year. Does uh, Corey have a chance to play? On mm -hmm. What kind of chances do you give him? Has he been practicing this week? Mm -hmm. okay. What about Austin? Hey, do you feel good about his? He's chance? got a chance to, yep. So you say there's a ch so you say that you got a chance. <laughs> We're just looking to give ourselves a chance to have a chance. And we got a chance. You know, the, the weather might be kind of wild. Right. It, sometimes that can affect players and teams. If, if it's snowing and windy, what do you have to tell your players to just try to block that out? And Embrace it. Okay. I think it's the same. You know, weather, rain, okay. wind. Embrace it and, and learn to deal with it. Hard because, you know, we played in, in uh, I forget what game it was now. It was wet. We're outside. We're practicing the rain. You know, um, snow's in the forecast. Don't, you know, we, we didn't, bad on my part, we didn't get a snow machine. <laughs> you know, and, but you got you to gotta deal with it. And I think you got to embrace it. and. And it's the same for both teams, and, and, and find a way to enjoy it. Hall of Memory serves you one your senior day game when you were a player here. I think you always, I know you remember that game, and, uh, and, and yet I don't think you can put a whole career into one day, one five-minute moment, one 20-second introduction. But I do think it's a big deal for the – a, these kids have had family members that have gone through this journey with them, and I think it's just much for them, you know, to celebrate. And and uh, but I think every guy is going to remember their last home game. They're going to remember, but not that's not the only memory, you know. So I think you got to make sure you you enjoy it as a player, you appreciate it as a player, but don't try to make more of it than it is. What's your favorite moment from your senior day? We won, <laughs> and we didn't have a lot of wins that year, so that was big. <laughs> Maybe that's why I remember more than this year's last home game. You mentioned uh, the senior class going through, uh, I guess, two different coaching changes. Um, is it harder for a senior class to to go through that coaching change when they've got one year left and everything changes for them again? And how do you think they've handled that? Well, I've appreciated the way they've handled it. I don't know if it's harder or not. Um, you know, I went through it my junior year, I think it was. So. Um, you know what, the change is part of life. And uh, I think this group embrace it. I don't know, you, you can't take the same group and then compare it to the change in year two and then take the same group and see what the change would have been. So I, I don't know how to answer that, but uh, I know that I feel fortunate being with this group. Some of the guys have said that you've really scaled back on not using full pads in practice since maybe the Nebraska game. Is that just your general philosophy? Is that with this team because of the injuries and things like that? Probably more the latter. Okay. Um, I don't know when we started doing that. Dave thought it was around after the Nebraska game, ballpark. Okay. So, okay. But yeah, I think it's, I think you gotta deal with, uh, certainly you gotta get the work done and mm -hmm. believe in that. And I thought the kids have handled what we've done well. And so, uh, but I think you get you. You don't just have the formula. I think you got to uh, gauge who you are and where you're at. And hopefully, we've done the what's best for the team. I think we have. Feel pretty good that way. You feel, you feel pretty good where they are in terms of take away the injuries in physical shape at this time of year. I do. Okay. Yeah, I think we're. I think they've done a nice job of working. You know, 
in the weight room through the season. Um, I think that's something that takes time though, you know, building up the body. But for this group and the time that we had with them, I think they've done all they can and that, that's all you can ask. I noticed uh, Ray Ball wasn't on the list of Correct. that are going to be honored. Do you expect him to get a red shirt in another season? I don't. Season? No. no. Why is he not going to be honored as a senior? Yeah, Ray, after his, the second or third game, came to me and, and had enough different things on his plate that thought it would be best to focus on those. So uh, after listening to him, could, uh, you know, you'd support that. So he hasn't been with us since probably the week two or three.